Hi, welcome to Film Music Mentor. Today's topic, using a theme in multiple ways in a feature film. Today is the release of Chronicle of a Serial Killer. It's a film I scored, sound designed, and mixed. I'm very proud of this film, very close to the film, and I wanted to talk a little bit about the score today. So the movie is a psychological thriller. And prior to getting this gig, I had watched Psycho a few days before, and it was fresh in my mind, and I thought that the format of Bernard Herrmann's amazing, uh, amazing score for Hitchcock's amazing movie would be a great starting place. I thought that Psycho had a vibe, a structure, and um, a way that Bernard Herrmann uses theme, motive, in different ways. I, I thought that was really the key to delivering on this movie. And so this particular movie, Chronicle of a Serial Killer, has uh, four musical elements. There's a short rhythmic motive. There's an elongated intervallic motive. And then there's a dark, somber theme. In addition to that, there's another theme or a B theme that comes in with one of the characters, Detective Kelly Smith, who's played by Dominique Swain. Christ. So in this video, I'm going to explore that second theme. In watching the film, I got to a place that was about three quarters of the way through, maybe a little further, and I was really moved by this moment, and I came up with this theme for that moment. It's very simple, uh, very sad, um, I hope it's moving, I hope it's touching. And it's different than the scary uh, or more dramatic music that's kind of like uh, psycho. So the theme that's used for Detective Smith is really different than the other three musical ideas that permeate the score. This is just a, a, a sample of the actual so scene with the music. It works on a piano pretty much like it does in the film. Uh, there's some strings with a little counter melody. There's a little synth pad, which is very low, just to give it a little more emotional depth, a little more space, um, broaden it. And this is um, in a well-earned moment because it's very late in the film. It's in the last, uh, last quarter of the film. I use that theme in two other places quite differently. So this is a scene where the serial killer is stalking the detective, or rather one of the detectives who is following her. The other two detectives are played by DMX and Steve Stanulis, who's also the director of the film. We'll hear some little inter undertones and other motives that are in the score, throughout the score. Now in this scene, uh, Detective Kelly Smith comes across the deceased body of someone really close to her and evokes this reaction. This clip's a lot closer to the previous clip 
than the All original right. scene that was scored, which was really simple. This scene takes the theme and expands upon it. We have a deal. Remember? It expands in a bigger way than the stalking scene does. So, so sorry about Max. We have a killer to catch. We do. But not today. Alright? Alright. This is some sick shit. I'm on it. If you listen to the trailer, which is on this channel as well, you'll hear the short rhythmic motive, you'll hear the elongated uh, motive, you'll hear the theme one, the somber theme. It's all in the opening scene. And it's also in the trailer, which is the same music, but um, we arranged to work in the trailer. There's also music that happens in bars and uh, diegetic music and, and, and a variety, but a lot of the, the music and what I would call the sound of this uh, film score comes from these three ideas and then this B theme, which is the fourth idea. Please subscribe to the channel, like the video, and hit that red alert button. This way you know when a new video comes out and you can check it out. Thank you. This is Film Music Mentor. Mm -hmm.